Good afternoon everyone. So I just wanted to do a video today on my sweet new baby girl here. Just a little bit of her details and if I haven't said it already, her name announcement. And also I wanted to change her in one of her cute little outfits that I got for her. So, um, like I said, I'm not sure if I said it when I opened the clay baby, my last new clay baby, but if I didn't say so, I will now. I would like you to meet Ariana, and I really like that name, and I think it really fits her little grumpy face. I am in love with these lips, guys, and I just love the structure of her face. She is just too cute. I, I'm head over heels for this sculpt, and this artist has captured the sense of this baby beautifully, in my opinion. Um, when I first saw this sculpt, I believe she was the first one I saw, um, I, I kind of went and searched for it to see what other tiger lilies looked like. And I gotta be honest, this is by far my favorite, and I am so happy that I was able to bring her into my collection. So... I, I'm just, I'm thrilled about it. So I would like to share some of her details and also get her changed. But before I do that, I do want to show you what I think I'm going to put on her. Originally, um, let me grab it. I had got this outfit for her coming home outfit. And I got to say, she's got these short little froggy legs. And I'm not so sure that this outfit is going to be right for her. Um, this is newborn, and she is a very petite newborn, but she is 18 inches. I mean, this little outfit here is newborn, and it fits her perfect. I'm not sure what brand that is, though. But anyhow, this is um, the Cat and Jack, and look at this, guys. <laughs> the onesie is almost as big as she is, and, I mean, the little shorts will fit fine, but I'm afraid the stockings are going to be so big. They're not going to look the way they should. Um, I'm thinking this outfit, even though it's newborn, will fit my poppet pretty big because she's a petite zero to three. So that may be something cute that I would try to put on her because as you guys might know, she is up for adoption. As long as I get my asking price out of her, I will let her go, but I can't budge on the price. I've already went down a couple hundred dollars. Um, but that's for a later video. Um, so what I think, it might be a little baggy, but I was thinking um, this onesie, even though it's <laughs> it looks big, but that's okay. With the It's a bright orange with the gold trimming. And then it's got the little teal. I, I guess it's a bear. I don't know. What are those? I'm not actually sure what these are. And then the white little guy. And it's long sleeves with a little ruffle. It is warm today, but with the wind, it could be chilly. Um, I'm thinking about doing an outing video today. But I haven't decided what baby I want to take. And since I'm not going till later on tonight, I thought I'd have an idea of asking you guys what baby I should take. And uh, I will try to read the comments before I leave. And either who answers first or the most um, or yeah let's just say whoever answers I guess first or if there's a vote for one baby the most will go that way I guess but it should be a few hours before I go so hopefully this will be up in enough time for me to get a response I haven't done an outing video in a long time and um, oh here's the pants by the way they are like an off-white almost with little gold polka dots. And I just absolutely love this big bow on the butt. I just think these are absolutely adorable. So I'm going to pair these two up. And then I was thinking, I'm not sure. Um, I either have this very petite teal um, headband that I think will go good with this. Or I have this one because it has gold in it, but since it's real bright white, I'm not sure if it'll look good with the off-white pants. Um, I'm not sure. And then this one's always a choice. I mean, I actually got this to go with the beautiful off-white dress with the gold stars on it. But I will have to alter this. I actually got this for my Cami Rose because that's the dress I got her. 
but I'm going to definitely have to knot this because this thing is huge. But, um, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe, maybe the teal one. And then, of course, I have these cute little gold sandals with off-white flowers. The only problem is these are newborn, but they seem super big to me, so we'll just have to see how they fit her. And if they don't fit her so well, I have these off-white, almost like furry feel, um, dress shoes and these are my favorite because they are so tiny they actually fit a lot of the real small foot um, reborns that I have so that's what I've got so far so hopefully I can pair something up and I did find a sleeveless onesie for her so I will put that on her as well but yeah so please comment below what baby would you like to see me take out on an outing today and like I said I will try to read all the comments right before I leave and if it's this precious girl then she'll probably just wear the same outfit that you see me put her in and if it's a different baby then we'll just have to be surprised oh, let me get the tags off of this but yeah I am so happy with the three new additions that I have brought into my collection I mean, I am so crazy over all three of them. I will say, though, you know, when you have a collection as large as mine, when you bring new babies in, you have to think about adopting babies out. So that's pretty much why I have decided that I do definitely need to rehome Poppet, even though she is a gorgeous, perfect baby. Um... She's done by a very well-known artist. I, I do need to think about even going further than what I thought originally about who I'm adopting out. As you know, my uh, recent boy, Serenity, it was very sad to see him go, but sometimes you have to just make these hard decisions. And as I've said in the past, if you followed me, um, when I first came into this hobby, I went crazy. I think I went overboard with buying babies, and I wish I hadn't done that because, you know, as I said before, I really just didn't know what my taste was and what I would like and what I wouldn't like. So, you know, I ended up having all these babies that wasn't necessarily right for me. So I still have, if I had to guess, I have at least 8 to 10 babies I still have available. Um, two of which is my toddlers that you briefly saw in my um, room tour, nursery tour. And also, don't forget, I have my silicone uh, baby girl full body for sale. So on her, I'm willing to do a small payment plan on her. So if you're interested, just make sure you email me. But I cannot wait to see these pants on her. All right, so I got the tags off. So, yeah, it is my daughter's birthday, November 7th. Hang on one second, guys. Sorry about that. My little boy's playing with the dogs, and he's running crazy with them. Um, anyhow, my daughter's, my youngest daughter's birthday is November 7th. She'll be a big 17. And actually, I hate to... I hate birthdays anymore. When you get to a certain age, you just don't care about birthdays because you just don't want to get any older. But um, I actually tried to hold out with my youngest daughter and have her on my birthday because my birthday is November 9th. And actually, my grandmother's birthday is November 7th. So I ended up having her on my mom's mom's uh, birthday, which was kind of cool. Um, so we're all scorpions see these legs I mean look these are the most perfect little newborn froggy legs and I just love how Casey or Cassie Brace I guess you pronounce it um, sculpts her legs I've always loved her chunky look and even with this baby being as petite and little as she is she still captured those newborn fat rolls I believe love it and this foot I mean how could you not love that foot <laughs> I hope you're seeing her well. I, I mean, I have this um, protector over my phone, so it kind of, 
it kind of tints my view so I don't really see what you actually see until I review it later but from what I see it looks super dark so I hope that's not what you guys are seeing and then she's got this beautiful stretched out arm just a little bit bent and it's almost like she's saying peace guys peace <laughs> I love it I love that little arm and then she's got this one too that's mostly open she's just got her little index finger bent down of course you can't see it all I don't know what's going on with my camera but and this is another thing that I absolutely love about painted hair is when you do your changing videos you're not as scared as you usually are to go up over the head with the clothing and I love the fact that this artist put a neck ring because look how easy her head moves side to side and I'm a firm believer in neck rings because it makes it so much simpler for their heads to smoothly move the way they need to what did I do with that bow I hope I don't lose it before I actually get it sewed back on <laughs> so here she is she fits perfectly in a little newborn diaper I love this baby she is so precious and she's I made sure I kept her nice and floppy if I had to guess she's probably about six pounds she is sweet maybe I don't know maybe five and a half maybe she's not that heavy I've got my uh, changing or I'm sorry my scale displayed on my shelf so it's hard to get everything off of it just to um, weigh a baby but I'm gonna have to do that but look at her guys see now I wish my flash was on let me see if I put the camera up you know, see that light doesn't work at all does it I'm sorry are you Anna let me see if that helped at all can you see her better over there see probably not she does have blue eyes but they're darker newborn blue they are glass and they are gorgeous and she has the most beautiful little eyelashes but she has such a strong um, bone structure above her eyes which really drawed me into this kit I really liked it for that um, but I wish you could see her as much as well as I can in this hair oh my goodness guys this hair let me see what you're seeing is just gorgeous and do you see her little bone structure in her head there her little soft spot it is gorgeous and her little swirl and then this side well, let me see if you can see the back see I, like I said I'm not seeing very good at all in this but that's okay I'm sorry the details wasn't as I wish them to be but she is super cute guys I found the bow Right, let me go back over there so you guys can see her all right let me see if I can get this get her dressed I don't I'm on a time limit I really do need to sit down and delete some things out of my phone or save them on to a, a cloud or something so I can make room to do more videos He's like, what are you doing to me? I'm sliding all over the table. Oh, there you go, Mama. So yeah, let me guys, let me know what you guys think about Ariana. I really like that name. Um, I watched the Fosters, and one of the twins' name was Mariana, which I really liked liked but I I love the the ring to Ariana so I kind of got it from that show but kind of not since I changed it up a little bit but yeah I would love to know what you guys think and to me I'm trying to walk around the tripod <laughs> and dress her so I'm not pulling her down each time 
The only worry is I, I don't want to mess up her beautiful little eyelashes. So I hope everybody's doing well in the community. I know that there's a lot of stress going on. And, and I just hope that it gets better. I really do. I, I just hate seeing the community in an uproar and upset. I really do. Um, it's unfortunate. Especially since it's mostly adults, you know. We gotta... We gotta figure out how, you know, we're all gonna have different opinions. That's normal. But we gotta figure out how to respect each other's opinions, you know. And I know there's so much more going on, or on in the community that is just awful, and I don't wanna go into it. Because this is supposed to be a happy video with my beautiful little girl. So I'm not going to, but I just. I wish everybody the best out there in the community, guys. But that's all I'm going to say about that, huh? Yeah. See, we're here to get this pretty girl changed. Yes, I am. Yeah. Say a little loose. I might have to roll her little sleeves. I cannot believe how dark it is to be, what, 2 o'clock, I think it is? I mean, I hope it is not as dark as I'm seeing in this phone. Because if so, you're not seeing anything. <laughs> See, I hope not. I've got both of my table lights on her, so I gotta believe there's no way. I need to figure out how to work my um, my professional camera that I got for Christmas last year. Because it takes beautiful pictures, so I gotta imagine it's gonna take beautiful videos. I just, I tell you, you know... It's just so busy, it's hard for me to even do a video, as you guys know, more or less sit down and learn another device, which I really need to do so, because I would like to somewhat edit my videos as far as entering pictures and things, because I think a picture of these little guys is is going to be so much better, let me pick her up for just a second, than some of the videos. You get to see more of what they actually look like look like in a picture versus a video a lot of the times. Sorry guys, you have to just stare at the thing, but her little legs are making it to where I can't get it over her little butt. Because she's really good, very well textured, um, which I like because I know her paint's going to last a very long time, but Sometimes it makes it a little difficult getting pants and stuff on. <laughs> These are super adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at her. We got to see her butt because that's the best part, guys. That is the best part. Oh, and she is a adorable baby when she's on her belly. So there's her little bum bum because she can actually, if I got her positioned right there, it's hard for you to see she's on the pillow, which she shouldn't be when she's on her belly, but she got a little bum bum on her little feet. Look at them feet. All right, guys, I think she looks super cute. Let's get her little shoes on and her bow and see how she looks with that. She is really a little petite thing, so I almost think it, she could, in some items, like a larger preemie would work on her. I know Carter's is a little bit too small, but I don't know who sells larger preemie. I wish I did, because I've got some babies that I eventually will be reborn, and that's going to need that, and also for my own collection. All right, let me see this beautiful bow on her. It's, I love these type of bows, and it's very hard to find these. They're very small and petite, but you don't always see them. They're really hard to come by. Now i got to figure out. Boy, he is making all kinds of noise, ain't he? He's definitely not a quiet player. <laughs> I, yeah, I think that's cute. 
And like I said, she has super uh, small feet. I dropped it, so I, I'm pretty sure these are not going to fit. <laughs> but I just wanted to see them anyways. Yeah, her feet. Oh, you can't even see, guys. Her feet are super lost in these. You can't even find her foot. But how cute would have those been? They would have been super sweet. But unfortunately, I can't find a baby that I want to put in them. They only match so many outfits, so it's, it's kind of hard to find the right baby in the right outfit. This one would have been perfect. I'm having all kinds of issues here. She's like, I'm, I don't want my shoes on. See, now these are so petite, even if they're... Those look good. Even if they are a little big, they stay on, so... That is super cute. Super, super cute. Oh, She's all dressed. There she goes. Look at the camera so everybody can see you. Alright, guys. So there is Ariana. Please welcome her to my nursery. And there she is looking so cute and grumpy. <laughs> I love those lips. She's definitely a baby. I love pacifiers on my baby, but I, I just kind of don't want to put one on her because I just love those little lips. But all right, guys, I'm cutting it close on time. So please don't forget to comment below if you want to make a suggestion on who I should take on an outing, outing tonight. Um, I have to go pick up some birthday presents. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I always get sidetracked. But I need to pick up some birthday presents for her and also go clothes shopping for my little boy because he is just growing out of everything. So definitely will want to check out baby stuff you know I do but I gotta be good guys and hopefully you can help me do that maybe if I stay busy filming and focusing on what my list is I won't stray away and spoil these even more than they should be because believe me they do not need clothes guys they have enough <laughs> all right anyhow everyone I will hopefully see um, if I could do a video later, I'm definitely going to do the outing, so I cannot wait to see your comments. Until next time, bye.